everybody, it's Tyler with Gaia Force Gaming, and I have a pretty interesting Metabyte. Uh, this Monday we had 20-some uh, players, 20, 21, 22, however many players we had. We had a weird situation. I think this has happened once before, where we were slated for five rounds, uh, but in round two, there was a draw at the undefeated tables creating only three undefeateds left. Um, well, there was a draw round one and a draw round two. And then in round three, uh, Wyatt McDonald, True Pain Gaming himself, got pared down as an undefeated and lost, creating a situation where we cut two rounds off the tournament. So weird, weird times. Uh, this top four is a little strange uh, due to the fact that it ended very early. We Just so you guys know, the earlier tournaments end, the less variance you're prone to see, uh, both positive and negative. So usually just very high rolly decks tend to do well in the earlier rounds until they, you know, lose their steam. Uh, but that being said, just due to representation, here's top four. I think it's pretty interesting. These lists are still very good, very valid. Uh, these players played very well and, uh, Everyone thank Wyatt for a short tournament. We all got to go to sleep early because of Daylight Savings and Wyatt McDonald. Shout out to True Pain Gaming. Uh, check out his YouTube. <laughs> so uh, here we are, guys. Uh, fourth place was Kip Compton, and he played Jessmon. So we see a uh, pretty pretty standard Jessmon. All Jessmon builds are going to be barely standard if you're going with the GX build uh, with one or two little choices that you get to make. Uh, but the, it's still good to see what min-maxing works, what min-maxing doesn't, what choices players like to make, and for what reasons. So here end with four Gurumon, four Search Huck, four of the Sister Huck, three Solar, um, three of the old Sister Mon Blanc, one Awakened, very cool little new, newer thing we're seeing pop up, one of the new Blanc, four of each Bow Huck, of course, two of the Sister Mon CL, two of the old Sister Mon CL, none of the Search Reboot CL, which is very interesting. Um, just going up on that Blanc account. We have one of the old Savior for the new Savior, of course, a single Chimeramon, single Ginkumon X, two Jessmon X, four of the old, uh, the, the, the starter Jessmon, sorry, uh, one GX, one Red Memory Boost, four from Master Disciple, and three Tie. Very interesting choices down here. Um, but it worked. You know, he went 2 1, losing only. In the final round, I believe he's the one who lost at table one. So, grats to Kip. Um, you know, I, I really would have loved to see at least one more round in this event, but it, just to see where some of these decks landed. But this deck is super cool. Uh, a lot of people do say they missed the Memory Tamer, and it worked out really well for Kip. So, congrats to Kip. Uh, in third place, we have Martin with Jessmon. <laughs> and his version, very different from Kip's, so let's look into it. Uh, we have the Gurimon, you know, four of each Huck, three Solar, one of the new Starter Huck, you know, that's a choice. Two, two, two split of the Blanc, no Awakened, four of each Bow, only one of the Evolution CL, and then two and one of the Reboot CL. You know, your five Savior, one Chimera, opting for the two Gankuomon, two, two, uh, just one X. We have the three Starter, uh, split of one Death X and one GX. One Crimson, one Gaia Force, one Boost, three Master Disciples. Kind of toolboxy. Got a lot of one ofs, a lot of uh, things to choose from. And I mean, he did not lose a game. He went 2 0 and 1, just with the one draw in round two. Uh, so, I mean, solid list. Here's another direction you go with Jessmon. I do think just, you know, you have your Jessmon core, and then you tailor your like last eight or nine cards and some ratios. Uh, so, I mean, it works. Uh, in second place, though, thanks to tiebreakers, we have Kyle Nui, who played Jessmon. And <laughs> I believe this is the player that drew with Martin in round two. Uh, so let's look at, you know, his choices. His seems, just by number of cards on screen, a little more streamlined. Uh, we have the four Guri, the eight Huck, three Solar, one Starter, uh, three Sister, and then one of the new one, no Awakened, uh, no 2-2 two -two Split. The 8 Bowhuck, then a 3 2 1 CL, which is something more in line with what we've seen. It's usually 2 2 1 or 3 2 1. I get it. 5 Savior, 1 Chimera, the 2 Genku X, 3 
of the uh, Just One X, three of the Just One Starter, two GX, and four of the Master to Disciple. So we just see that that is the only option, and uh, just it's just really pushing in on all of those Digimon to give you solid effects. And hey, you came second place again, no losses, two zero oh, and one. Uh, so that that concludes our Jessmon section of the topping deck list, and the winning deck list, very interestingly, is this Ofanimon control deck list. This uh, kind of security control, kind of Ofanimon. He was already using the ban list numbers, which is pretty interesting, even though this wasn't a ban list event. Uh, this is the last event we will be holding before the ban list comes out, before EX3 comes out. So uh, Isaac Leffler, here, here's his deck list. He went three and zero. We have the four Demimera, the one Nyarumon, single Tapermon, four Gazi, four Psychmon. So the pretty pretty standard rookie lineup for this kind of deck. We see the four Godomon, two Magna Angelmon, three Angel Woman X Antibody, three of the starter deck Angel Woman, two Ophanimon, one Siakumon Maid Mode, three Venusmon, two Death X, three Flame Hellscythe, three of the Lonky, Bonky hard to pronounce card that you can't find in Digimon Dev no matter how hard you try. You just got to type in the set number and look for it. Uh, one of the Reinforced Memory Boost, four Holy Flame, three Chaos Degrade, one Sunrise Buster, three Taikari, and three TK. Super interesting deck. Uh, if you like grindy control decks, I think that you're going to get a lot more uh, I, I, what's what's the word I'm looking for? Like mouthfeel, for, but for your brain. <laughs> You're going to get a lot more brain umami from this deck than security control, but it's a really strong control just by looking at it and looking at how it performed. Uh, this is a good deck to bring into an aggressive meta. If you expect a lot of Jessmon, a lot of Grandis, a lot of Melga, this deck will perform fairly well. Um, but yeah, congrats to Isaac. Uh, his name on here is Leffler Isaac. I'm assuming that that's backwards. I'm assuming his first name's Isaac, but if it's not, I'm sorry, Leffler. And if it is, congrats, Isaac. Uh, so yeah, that's our top four list, guys. Uh, this was a super fun event to watch. It was cool that it was a little bit of an early night because with daylight savings just happening, everyone was a little disoriented, a little bit tired. Um, come join us on Monday. We're giving away the super cool Bloom Lord mats uh, every every Monday right now. Get ready for EX3. Uh, with the very beautiful Zach Roy illustrated Bloom Lord GFG exclusive playmat. Uh, if you want to see that playmat, it's in the announcements tabs in our Discord. Discord link down below. If uh, you want to come play, let me know. I'll come play on Mondays. If you want to play test, I'm down to play test. I want to get into Ulti Cup season. We got three Ulti Cups coming up. One of them is this format. Two of them are EX3. Let's get to testing, boys. Uh, other than that, Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. I'll see you later. Bye.